Hey, everybody. Welcome to another episode of What Ted Says, where it's always time to get a fatter wallet and a bigger net worth. That's what we're doing here. Now, Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. No, that was the Brady's. Taxes, taxes, taxes. They can be a real headache, can't they? Let's start by addressing the problem here. Taxes are inevitable, but paying too much out of your wallet, making it thinner, is not. Many people that I know, they pay too much in taxes, more than they should, and it's time that we change that right here on What Ted Says. Now, I remember when I got into this business of helping people with taxes, people told me there's only two inevitabilities in life. Number one, taxes. Number two, death. So if you're watching this, you're probably not dead. So let's figure out how we can save some money in taxes. So one of the big things to know about saving money in taxes is knowing your deductions. Did you know, and a lot of people don't know this, that you can reduce your taxable income in many different ways. This can include medical expenses. A lot of people don't know that. Mortgage interest, people do know, but you've got to look at things like points and other things like that. And of course, charitable contributions. Now, if you're donating to charity, here's what I want to tell you. One idea that a lot of people don't think about is bunching deductions. We're doing all your charitable deductions in one year or set up something called a DAF, a donor advised fund. And this is really a giving account where you're sort of giving into a fund, but you can decide how you donate over time. But it's like a public charity in the sense you can get all the tax deductions in one year and you can donate for the next 10 years. That's the same concept essentially as bunching deductions. So you can contribute to the fund as frequently as you want, but I recommend that you do it in one giant tax year. Obviously, you can do it with cash. But remember, you can also do it with appreciated stock. This is going to help you save money in taxes. Number two, let's talk about a smart move right here on WTS, which is how to maximize your contribution to your retirement plans. A lot of people don't know the rules and they don't look at their paychecks, but if you can, it always makes sense to max out your 401k. And if possible, in some cases, an IRA can still be tax deductible. Um, obviously, it's going to reduce your taxable income, so you've got to consider uh, what to look at. But the number one idea I want to give you on WTS today is doing a mega backdoor Roth IRA. It's like the mega backdoor Roth IRA, which is really a way to set up an after-tax account in your 401k, immediately roll it into an IRA, and this may help you build up, if not hundreds, potentially hundreds of thousands of dollars in tax savings. So investing your money wisely over the long term is going to be important. One thing people forget about is that if you can get investments set up that your tax at capital gains rate, as opposed to ordinary income rate, it can make a big difference. In the top tax bracket, right now being 37% on ordinary income and 20% on capital gains, that difference is not 17%. 37 minus 20 is not 17%. It's not. It's actually almost 100% difference on your taxes. Do the math yourself. And not only federally, but depending upon the state that you live in, you really need to assess tax credits. Now, there are things that are for lower income families, like the child tax credit, the earned income tax credit, and many other kinds of tax credits, depending upon if you own a business or you don't. In the state of Georgia, as an example, there are state tax reductions, like the Georgia Film Tax Credit Program, and also the Georgia GASSO Program, G-A-S-S-O. Many states have tax credit programs, but many residents never look into those tax credit programs. Of course, you live in one of the nine states where you don't have federal tax, uh, state taxes at all. Florida, Texas, Tennessee, and the like, Nevada, Wyoming, Alaska, you're not going to have any state taxes. Now, this may all seem overwhelming. Don't worry. You can always seek out a professional. Most financial advisors may know nothing really about taxes, so find one that is very skilled in doing it or getting an accountant or a CPA to help you navigate this complex world. Mind you, this is not about tax preparation. A lot of people do that. This is about tax planning, thinking about where your income is going to look like in the following year and what you can do today in order to lower that overall tax liability. So there you have it, WTS fans. These are just six of the best ways to lower your overall tax bill. But let's just remember this. It's not about avoiding taxes, but about optimizing your financial situation to pay only what you owe. If you're like Wesley Snipes, Shakira, or Willie Nelson, you could go to jail because tax evasion is illegal. However, tax avoidance is not. And this is why when people get on TV and they say, I can't believe these millionaires and billionaires 
They pay lower than a, a secretary's rate when it comes to taxes. Don't get mad at them. They're just following the law and they figure out how to use it to their fullest extent. This is what you too can do, whether you make $100,000 or you make a million dollars. It's the kind of things that we teach you here on What Ted Says. We've got more than a dozen great videos on ways that you can save money uh, on taxes. Uh, I recommend everybody that comes to the website. We had more than 6,000 views over the last month and it's growing every single month right now. We just hit 2,000 subscribers. People are coming to this because they know this is some of the best financial uh, information they're gonna get in the entire country. Hit that subscribe button. Make sure that you click the bell to get the notifications every time I put out a new video on Monday or on Thursday. And make sure to tell your friends. WTS is where you get all the information. And those are your tax deduction tips here right today.